Hi everyone, it's Miss Babs and Fern and I are here for Preschool Story Hour. It's so great to see everybody out there. And as Fern likes to remind us, every week it's time for our finger play to get started. Right Fern? That's right. So Fern is going to sit over here while you and I do our finger play. I have ten fingers. Ready? One, two, three. I have ten fingers. They all belong to me. I can make them do things. Would you like to see? I can shut them up tight, open them wide, put them together, make them all high. Jump them up high, put them down low, fold them together, and hold them just so. Nice job, everybody. I have a really sweet story for you today. And the title of the book is Mistletoe, A Christmas Story. It's written and illustrated by Tad Hills. And the publisher is Schwartz Wade Books in New York. Mistletoe greets the chilly morning. Snow is falling. What a beautiful day. Finally, it feels like Christmas, she thinks. By the time she gets to Norwell's house, the snow is almost up to her knees. Norwell, come out! It's snowing, Mistletoe calls. Norwell watches Mistletoe. It sure looks cold out there, Norwell says to himself. Too cold for this elephant. Mistletoe, it's cold out there. Why don't you come in? Sit by the fire and have some tea. Just a drop for me and a cookie crumb, please, says Mistletoe, and after tea, we can go for a walk in the snow. Norwell and Mistletoe sit by the warm and toasty fire. Isn't this nice? Mistletoe asks Norwell. Oh, yes, indeed it is, Mistletoe agrees, but wouldn't it also be nice to take a stroll in the snow? Later, Mistletoe helps Norwell decorate his tree. Well, maybe after we top it off with a star, can we go out and catch snowflakes on our tongue, says Mistletoe. Mm, I don't know, Norwell walks to the window. He watches the snowfall. Brr, he says, it looks even colder out there now, Mistletoe. I think I'll stay home where it's cozy. So Mistletoe puts on her hat, coat, scarf, and mittens and sets out on her walk home. She soon finds herself in a field of snow. As evening approaches... The world turns blue. She stops. She is quiet and still as she has ever been. Norwell should be here with me to listen to the falling snow, she thinks. Suddenly, she has an idea. Mistletoe cannot get home fast enough. When she gets inside, she tosses off her snow-covered clothes, climbs into her attic, and finds just what she needs. She gathers her yarn, settles in with her knitting needles, and gets to work. You can never have too much yarn, she says to herself. Mistletoe knits whenever she can. She knits when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down. She knits while she reads, and she knits while she makes cookies for Santa. She even knits in the bath, which isn't easy. Hmm, that's funny. Days pass, Christmas pass, Christmas nears. Mistletoe knits and knits using every bit of yarn she can find around her house. Mistletoe realizes two things. One, sometimes you don't have enough yarn. And two, elephants are very big. She stops at her favorite shop and brings home as much yarn as she can. Finally, on Christmas Eve, Mistletoe puts down her knitting needles. She, her fingers are tired. Her work is done. She watches the snow fall outside her window and thinks of Norwell. Ah, oh, Christmas, she smiles. Then Mistletoe nestles into her soft knitting and falls into a deep sleep. The next morning, Mistletoe opens her eyes as the sun fills her living room. Christmas is here. The cookies are gone, and beautifully wrapped gifts have been left under the tree. Thank you, Santa, she calls up the chimney. Merry Christmas. Opening her presents will have to wait, though, because Mistletoe has other plans. First, she puts on her Christmas dress. 
so cute. And then she carefully folds the gift she has made for Norwell, adds a red ribbon, and squeezes the gift through the front door. Mistletoe pulls the heavy gift behind her. Wow, that gift looks huge. Merry Christmas, Norwell. I have something for you. She calls when she reaches her friend's house. Merry Christmas, Mistletoe, Norwell says. Come in, come in. I have something special for you. Norwell hands Mistletoe the most beautifully wrapped package she has ever seen. Mistletoe carefully opens it and discovers a painting of her in the snow. It's perfect, Norwell. You do love snow, Mistletoe. Indeed, I do. When it's Norwell's turn to open the gift, Mistletoe asks, Do you know what it is, Norwell? I don't know what it is, but I love it. Oh, Mistletoe, it's so colorful and soft, Norwell exclaims. It will keep you toasty and warm, Mistletoe tells Norwell, outside in the snow. You do like to be toasty and warm, Norwell, said Mistletoe. Indeed, I do, Norwell. And he was. And that is the sweet story about celebrating friendship and the gift of giving with a cozy, cozy story. All right, my friends. So our craft for today is a wreath. And I made this with just some things that we had here at the library, which I think you will probably have at your home. So all you need is a paper plate. And I just cut out, use the scissors, and I cut out the whole middle of it as I started to do once again here. You cut out the center of that, and you can put anything on it that you would like to in order to make it sort of Christmassy and holiday. So I colored it with some markers, and then I added some stickers that we had here at the library, and I crumpled up some tissue paper, and any kind of, um, I don't know, pieces of tissue that you have, like I said, or some pieces of fun foam, which we had at the library, you glue on that, anything shiny, maybe you have some glitter, and you add some string at the top, or rather yarn, and make a hole at the top, and you have yourself a lovely Christmas wreath. Well, my friends, thanks so much for dropping by today to visit with you-know-who, Fern the Frog and I, and I hope that you all keep on reading and have a beautiful day. Until next time, keep on reading. Bye-bye.